Good morning and welcome to module 1 of day 8. Module 1 talks about the basics of English language, the vocabulary items related to the basics and their pronunciation. Under this session today, we are going to talk about a garden, a theatre and a mall. The various items that you could see in these places, their identification and their pronunciation is the emphasis of this module. Let us get started then. The very first is a garden or a playground or an amusement park. You could find a number of things over there. You could find a man riding a bicycle. This is what is called as the football. And they are riding a tricycle. They are flying in a hot air balloon. These are on merry-go-round. He is riding a wooden horse. So it is a wonderful place for the stool for the children. Let us get acquainted with it. The girl is gone up on the ladder and is coming down through the slide. Ghasar Gundi is called a slide. The boy is jumping over there and he is jumping on the jumping. And this jumping or bouncy, uh, bouncing uh, mat as it is called as jump about. The third boy is driving a battery operated car. The pair of students sitting down are playing the seesaw. Now this way of moving about here and there is called a seesaw. The girl is sitting on a swing and is swinging the swing. You could find the rope in the center being caught by three children from one side and three children from the other side. This type of play of pulling the string and who would win is called as tug of war. Tug of war. That's right. Tug of war. So the children are playing tug of war. And then you have the toy train here. The toy train. You could have a number of toy train or a bus or a truck, something, and children love to sit into it. You also can have something like a tunnel passage. There could be a spider net that is hung and the children love to climb on the spider net. There could be a rope bridge, a rope bridge and balance beams. The beams are attached and balancing yourself, you should walk on the beams. The jump about we already had seen is one place where children love to be. Jump about is a tarpaulin sort of uh, coating that you could find. Students get into it or children get onto it and then they keep on jumping and bubbling. Then you also could find some rings being hung. You are supposed to catch the rings and move about. Then you can have the wonky beam. The beams would be there and you are supposed to catch the beams and hang on and then move about. Sometimes they could be wonky. Sometimes they could be straight. And then you have the monkey bars. Monkey bars are the two parallel lines that are kept mostly of steel and then they are attached in the center so that they look like a ladder which is kept in a horizontal place. You are supposed to hang from it and you are supposed to move from one place to the other by hanging. All these are some wonderful exercises for the children. Monkey bars. You have spider net. You have wonky beam. You have rope bridge. You have balance beams. You have jump about, swing, seesaw and slide. You also could see sometimes the bouncy bear. The bouncy bear is a picture of a bear that is on top of a spring. Maybe a bear or maybe a penguin, maybe a deer, whatever, on top of a spring. The moment you sit on top of it, because of the spring action, you keep on bouncing up and down. Have you ever seen that? Yes, they are called as bouncy bears. 
Sometimes you can have the roller blades because you have the walking path there. You can wave the roller skaters and you can skate around. So roller blades are there and you have got the track in a garden so that you can uh, walk on the track. You can use your scooter and go on the track. You can use a tricycle and go on the track. You can use a bicycle and go on the track and so on and so forth. So these are some beautiful things that you could see in a garden. And you also have this tree house. We don't find that in uh, Nanded gardens, but then a tree house also is very common. Along with a number of plants, flowers, green grass, meadows, and so on and so forth. I would want you to visit the nearby garden in your place and describe each thing that is present there. Now these boys are camping. Camping cannot be within the garden, but camping also is associated with nature and plants and grass. And so I have included camp with, camping with campfire. Do you remember going for a campfire any time in the school days? The campfire with the fire burning in the middle of the night has got its own mystery. And the stories being talked about, especially the stories of goosebumps. Oh, very interesting. The camping and the campfire are... So this would be to be in a park. You also have the park benches and so on and so forth. The second so social situation that we are acquainted today is a theatre. Now a theatre can be both a cinema hall and a drama theatre. Both almost are the same. In a cinema hall you could find the entire action is recorded already in the form of tapes and it is projected on a white screen. You have the audience sitting in the theater or cinema hall and you have a screen and on the screen it is projected if it is a cinema hall and if it is a theater you have a stage and the stage has got a curtain and a background and you have live characters presenting you the the play or drama on the stage live the theatrical masks all of us should be acquainted with because we are all literature students and we have done the paper of drama in the first year the laughing the smiling the crowning the crowning the melancholous the jealous all these masks in fact express various emotions of individual so you have uh, a ticket counter where you buy the tickets. Then you have the entrance. You have different entrances for different type of tickets that you have bought. And uh, the seats, the seating arrangement also is very neatly made. And you have a path to walk through towards the seats. Once you are seated, you have a stage. And on the stage, if it is a cinema hall, you have a screen. And if it is a drama, you have a stage. And then you have... Uh, the green room, if it is a theatre, which is a room that is present at the back of it, where the director sits or where the actors wait for their chance. And you have the makeup room, where the makeup has been done to the actors. And in theatre and in cinema, lighting, colours, background, decoration, clothing, ornaments, makeup are very important in order to create the effect that they are trying to present to the audience. Along with, of course, the talent of acting by the actors. Now we go down to the shopping mall. This is a sort of shopping mall. Aren't you reminded of the mall that is present in Nandit? Have you all visited at least once? Okay, if not, after the uh, lockdown is Lift it up. Maybe you could go and visit a mall, of course, wearing a mask and maintaining a social distance. It might have a number of uh, stores. You can, uh, uh, it's called as a mini store if the store is smaller. And if it, if it is big with a number of shops in it, it is what is called as the mall. right? Normally, the mall is multi-storied. And to go on to the story, each story, not S-T-O-R-Y, S-T-O-R-E-Y. Story is each mazla. 
you have the staircase and also automatic electricity run escalators. Escalators, they are called as you just stand on it and you will be taken either up or down automatically along with the belt and the steps. And then you find a number of mannequins. What are these mannequins? Mannequins are those which, are, which serve as models wearing the clothes or spectacles or presenting you a number of stylistic you know, things with the recent objects of the shop in order to draw your attention so that you would look into it and buy the products. So these are called mannequins. So a multi-storied mall looks like this. Our mall is not as big as this, but then quite good enough. Normally a mall also has a restaurant uh, on the top floor and a theater, a cinema theater as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. In this video, we got ourselves acquainted with various vocabulary items that are related to um, the garden, theater, and a mall. Hope you had enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.